Okay. FN57 ballistic gel tests. These are going to be factory loadings plus two all copper makers reloads of mine. A 55 grain expanded subsonic and a 37 grain expanding high velocity. So 10% gel clear ballistics. I'll fire these, I don't know, about 10 feet or so. And we'll check them out. First go will be Federal 40 grain full metal jacket followed by FN's green tip. I think that's the 198, 27 grain. Then my 55 grain subsonic followed by the factory FN 40 grain V Max blue tip uh, SS 197 followed by a what do I get in there? My 37 grain hyper velocity expanding, and then last will be the 27 grain FN factory uh, SS195. All right. So I got a tape with me. We'll measure each one afterwards. First, Federal 40 grain. That is in tumbled backwards. We're about 18 inches. That looked like that came out of my table, maybe. Interesting. Not sure what happened there. Yeah. Oh, it's hitting really low. That's why. Okay. Okay. That one is a far larger wound cavity than that metal FMJ. Looks like that thing tumbled and it's backwards at 10 inches. All right, I'll aim a little higher. Okay. Fix this. Go a little higher. Next is my 55 grain expanding subsonic all copper makers. The expansion on that is amazing. That is beautiful. That wound cavity is large. Full three pedal expansion. We're at 12 inches penetration. That looks good. Okay. So next is the commonly 
off the shelf available SS197 SR sporting round 40 green Hornady V map blue chip lost its tip about two inches in nice little wound cavity there looks like from what I can see okay expansion 14 inches in Okay, next is my Maker's All Copper 37 Green Expanding Hyper Velocity. Again, excellent three pedal expansion. The wound cavity is quite large. And we'll go over that afterwards. We are fully expanded at 13 inches in. And last, is the twenty seven grain blue box factory? This is one ninety five lead free, same as the green tips, just a civilian version, loaded uh, a little less hot. All right, I know I touched on it real quick during the shooting video, but I went ahead and cleared up these blocks a little bit with a heat gun to check out these wound cavities, expansion, and penetration. I'll cut the projos up in a few and we'll look at them a little better. But right now we'll do uh, penetration first and then um, expansion and wound cavity so I'm gonna measure to the very end the farthest end of the projectile for this penetration so the furthest one we've got is the Federal Factory 40 grain full metal jacket and that we have 18 inches to the very end that's sitting backwards no expansion Next, we're going to have the SS197SR, that's the Hornady 40 grain VMAX, comes in the blue box FN brand, and that is 13 and a half inches. Uh, a good mushroom. Uh, the wound channel, an explosive wound channel. It started at about a half inch. We'll look at that afterwards, though. Um, so, yeah, at about 13 and a half, but that started shedding its core 
with about four or five pieces of lead starting from about nine and three quarter inches to about 11 and a half inches. And you can see them lead fragments right there. One, two, three, four. Okay, next is going to be my Maker's Reload 37 grain expanding hyper velocity. That penetration we have is about 13 and a quarter, and that is perfect. Three pedal expansion. Next, right behind that, at 12 inches of penetration, is my second Maker's Reload. That one being a 55 grain, expanding subsonic, running around 10, 20, 10, 50 feet per second. That has... Perfect three pedal expansion as well. Excellent round. Them two makers did extremely well, which I kind of figured they would. Um, all copper projectiles I have had excellent success with expansion with. Next up is the SS198. That's the green tip, red box, FN factory loading. And that is actually spun around backwards at nine and three quarter inches of penetration. No expansion. That's the 27 grain. And last, right above it, is the same loading, just the blue box, which is loaded a little less hotter than the green tip. Same projectile, 27 grain. And that we're at about nine and a quarter inches of penetration so not too bad really extremely happy with them makers results um i'll take the camera we'll look at the wound channels and go through that real quick see you in a sec okay let's take a look at these wound channels and see what my impression and results are uh, 40 green that came in about three inches and looks like that started to tumble tumble opened up quite a bit at about a seven and six and a half inches or so that's a flat plane though that's not a big flat planed as you can see see that that's pretty much how these 27 grain ones were too um the wound channel looks quite impressive but that's a flat plane you can see these two 27 grains and that 40 grain these tumbled these came in you can see them tumbling in this wound channel tumbling on end and sideways and actually, the non-green tip right here actually shed its aluminum core. Which, once that aluminum core shed, that wound cavity, it's quite large. That's quite impressive for a little 27-grain projectile. <clears throat> uh, most explosive, that'd be the Hornady VMAX. That thing hit, and at about a half-inch in, just dumped all of its energy exploded that's quite impressive um and then it started shedding some of its core landed here um yeah that's an impressive wound channel for sure what i'm excited for with these makers 
both the 37 grain expanded hypervelocity and that 55 grain expanded subsonic. These three pedals are excellent. And that subsonic wound cavity, I don't know if you can really see it, but think of like a three blade broadhead. And that thing just went in and you can see it just spirals through. Three comes through and just spirals its way in there. That's impressive. And to, uh, to be only an inch, inch and a half less penetration than a 40 green uh, Hornady VMAX and a 37 green expanded soup, uh, hyper velocity. That's impressive. I like that for sure. Uh, and this 37 green as well. Um, that thing came in. Dumped some of this energy, expanded about an inch and a half in. And then same thing, not quite as large of a wound cavity as the 55 green subsonic. But picture it the same. Uh, like three blade fixed broadhead just coming in and spiraling all the way through there. Quite impressive. Quite impressive wound channels with these makers. I like it. Really digging it. Um, I was not expecting that to shed its aluminum core. Um, but there you have it. I'm going to dig these out and we'll take a good look at them once they're out of here. Thanks. All right. So let's do some weight retention tests. Uh, I couldn't get the four uh, fragmented pieces out uh, for the 40 grain VMAX, but um, I got two scales out, my uh, cheaper Hornady pocket scale, and we'll toss it on the Charge Master as well. Um, in order by greatest penetration, 40 grain, factory, federal, full metal jacket, 40 grain factory FN with the 40 grain Hornady VMAX. Uh, makers all copper. 37 grain expanding hypervelocity reload of mine. Another makers all copper 55 grain expanding subsonic reload of mine. FN factory red box 27 grain. And same one here this is the fn federal blue box 27 green so let's do some weight retention and see what we've got here first 40 green full metal jacket and our pocket scale reads 40 and a half 44 bring it over to the charge master same thing, 44. Okay. Next will be the Hornady VMAX. I don't know why I'm using tweezers for that. But, uh, 30.3. 30 and under the Charge Master, 30.3. All right, 37 grain, weight retention, 36.5, 36.5, 55 grain, expanded subsonic, look at that, beautiful, 54.5, on the charge master 546 27 whoa it's a little higher than what I was expecting 28 with no deformation at all These are advertised as 27 grains. And then this is the same projectile, just loaded a little lighter for consumer. 
And again, wow, a little higher than what I was expecting. 27.9. Remember, this one shed its entire core. So, and 27.9. There's the weight retention. And we got it.